Good morning, Friday before a long uh, holiday weekend here in New York City and I guess across USA. I wanted to give you an update on my ultrasonic vinyl cleaning system. Here you can see I uh, have the records on the spindle of the vinyl stack uh, ready to be cleaned. This spindle is really super tight. You can make it even tighter, but it, there's almost a suction-like grip on all the labels so they'll never get wet and it just snaps on magnetically and waits for you there. Um, and the tubing you see, here's the pump that I got off eBay, rather Amazon for about 14 bucks, recommended by Ira Wong. Uh, a filtration system that I got at Home Depot for like 20 bucks. The tubing didn't cost much. The hardest part was attaching all these gaskets. I actually had my super do it, because I'll be damned if I know how to do it. Uh, but you can see the water when you want to run the filtration system, it runs out here. The pump, which is really powerful, pumps through the filtration system, out through the tubing. Then I just take the tube and put it back in the water. Uh, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, but let's go ahead and get the... Uh, I've already hooked up the, uh, the power supply to the uh, vinyl stack. And it is, and you can hear it really, really super quietly. But now I'll turn on the tank, which is... Sounds kind of like a bug burner you use on a patio in summertime. It's a loud fucker. Um, but I run it for 10 minutes. You can uh, vary the voltage on the vinyl stack. I have it at 4.5 volts, which in 10 minutes means it will spin two and a half revolutions, uh, which was recommended by Harry uh, Weisfeld on the uh, VPI forums. Um, this is a 10 liter tank. Uh, I have two records here. I have to correct that. Okay, I got that sorted. Um, in a 10 liter tank, I believe the max amount of records you can do is four records. Beyond that, you're overwhelming the ability of the tank per record. I think Harry speaks of having one inch between records. This doesn't look to be quite one inch. But anyway, the, the vinyl stack cleaner is, is spinning. Now I'm gonna turn on the tank uh, and you'll hear it buzz like a mofo. Now I'll just lower the records into the uh, solution. You can see the water is already vibrating. The ultrasonic transducers are doing the job. I make sure to check that there's no, uh, that the records aren't rubbing on the tank. Um, there's just enough clearance on either side uh, for the records to be freestanding and not rub on the tank. Um, so now I'm going to just run it for 10 minutes and uh, then I'll come back and uh, take the records off and show you the filtration system in action. Okay. Um, the timer went off for the tank, which cleaned uh, the record for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to uh, flick the little switch on the side of the vinyl stack post and lift the records up. And you can set it, I have the water level slightly below the maximum mark. So the records just clear the water. Um, and I might leave them there for a few minutes so they can dry a little bit. They basically are dry all the way around the uh, circumference of the record until it gets to the, uh, the water line mark where there's still some water left over. But essentially I'll remove this, let it sit for a second, and then I'll uh, do a final rinse and dry on my VPI 16.5. Again, that's what Harry Westfeld recommends. Um, a final rinse in just pure diluted water, nothing else. And that dries it and then you're good to go. So let me go ahead and remove this. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the solution is still on it. The solution here that I have is uh, distilled water. 
a couple drops of photo flow and a couple drops of clear unfragranced dishwashing liquid again re uh, harry westfeld so i'm going to set these down over on my counter for a second and then i'll be back okay now you can see that i have the tube from the filtration system going back into the tank um this pump they told me is not automatically primed which means you have to uh, let some water flow through before you turn it on so essentially i'll just flip the uh switch which is getting loose already give me a second kids while i tighten that up um This was a real bear to set up. Um, these fittings have to be super tight so there's no leaks. So I probably stressed this a little bit when we set it up. Uh, but I will uh, release some water into it, then turn on the pump, and you'll see, uh, hopefully see the water circulating. This is the first time I've used this away from my spot in the kitchen. I bought this uh, rack from Ikea. Uh, I think it was about 70 bucks delivered and it takes more vinyl which is really beautiful beautiful finish but i had to put a little uh microfiber towel under the base or it was slipping around this is just an old coffee can that's probably a much better way to do this better looking way but hey i'm a bachelor as you can tell uh so first hope this all works i'm going to release the the water could already see a little bubble pop up here. Now I'm going to turn on the pump and we should be raring to go. Minutes after every cleaning, or after, if I do like a 10, 20 records, I'll let this run for about five minutes. Uh, and you can definitely see the, the gunk in the water after you clean records. Um, it's pretty profound. So I'll let this run a little bit. Makes almost no mo noise at all. There's a little bit of sudsing action here, uh, which to me means I've got the right amount of dishwashing detergent, but not too much. Still pumping away. You can see over here, I hope, the water. So that's really all there is to it. Let that run for about five minutes. Uh, turn off the valve. Uh, put this into a area, probably a, a used uh, distilled water bottle. And uh, dry off your records on the VPI and you're ready to go. Thanks for checking in. I appreciate it. Have a great day.